Hello, everyone. Welcome to another uh, fantastic. No, I don't know. Fantastic's the wrong word, but another episode of the Butter What Show here on YouTube. My co-host over here, Brian C. Moses, is excited to talk about some 3D printing stuff with me today. I'm Brian's co-host, Pat Regan. And the first thing we have on the list here, and I think this is just fantastic. I'm trying to remember where I saw this on Twitter, maybe. It's Octo 4A. It's OctoPrint for Android. It's an APK that you install on. You have to sideload it onto your, it's not in the store, onto your Android device. And you can run your 3D printer with this. You plug your 3D printer right into the USB-C port on your printer. And it, it's fantastic. What do you think? I, I think it's fantastic. I mean, you and I are both great, big, huge fans of, of OctoPrint for managing and controlling our 3D printers. Um, I bought a Raspberry Pi to run OctoPrint since my 3D printer's over there. But at the time that I bought it, I had at least three or four Android devices that I'm sure I said, I wish I could run Octoprint right here on this on this phone or tablet that I'm no longer using. And now and now you can. And that's that's fantastic all by itself. It's amazing because you know you're gonna pay you're gonna pay somewhere between twenty and fifty dollars for a Raspberry Pi. You're probably going to want to, most people want to put a webcam on it. That's going to be, you know, 10 or 15 bucks up to, you know, 50, $80. Yep. I know I'm having trouble knowing how much webcams are supposed to cost because when, when the pandemic started and everybody started working from home, the prices went way up, but I have an old pixel or pixel two phone here and they have fantastic cameras that are better than most webcams. And this will use the webcam or the camera on your phone as, as the, the yep. Octo print. Cam. That is, that's just fantastic. It really, and it's a thing I have here already. Yeah. And it has a battery in it, so if there's a power outage, it'll You've, get through the power. The printer won't get through the power outage, maybe. But the the yeah, phone will. It'll, survive a, it'll it. survive a power outage. And I'm excited because this is the second phone server thing we've done. Last last month, we had a, a Linux backup yep. system on an Android phone, and that was just as cool. And I love the idea of reusing yes. old hardware. And phones have so much CPU, so much RAM now, two, four gig of RAM, and they'll have more as you know as time goes on. So much storage, fat, reasonably fast storage. It's yeah. It's fantastic. Well, and you can get the basic Kindle Seven tablet for like forty or fifty bucks. They add the, I mean, yeah. That's a no-brainer. That's cheaper than a Raspberry Pi. I mean. It is the most complicated thing about this will be getting the printer plugged into your USB yeah. port and still being able to power the device. You might need to pick up a splitter, and I bet that's probably like five yeah. or ten bucks if you Yeah, you know, and the more people that start doing this, the easier those will be to find on Amazon or Tindy. Banggood or AliExpress or eBay or somewhere. Yeah. Somebody will start selling lots of these splitter kits. I've got one in I talked about one in the Pi KVM blog. I bought it off. I bought yeah, those did. off of Tindy. We should put a link in the video description. And this is from the GitHub user Feel Free Linux. And we'll have that. It'll be right here. I'm probably pointing to it right now. Have you seen these? These tubby, these print in place. Uh, there's a couple of different planes and cars and things. This one's the uh, F-14, I believe. Looks just like the one that used to be on my G.I. Joe aircraft carrier. And I'll play the video here. This is the first video I've played today. Can you believe that? I can. But I printed the new one that he's going to tell you about here. And I would love to tell you his name. We featured him here before, but I don't know how to pronounce his uh, YouTube handle. He set this up. Do you see the... They're showing it yep. to you, I'm sure, here. But the wings are correctly shaped now. He used to have them extend all the way down so they'd stick to the bed Yeah, better. well, they still do, but... He's got a score line, but now you yet, can break so you them can off. break it off and make it more authentic. Yep. And when we featured this gentleman last time, he we did his uh, pull copy okay. ring. So he's doing a lot of really neat stuff. A lot of cool I'm en toys. I'm envious uh, of his 3D designing skills. I think it's on Thangs.com. Yeah, Thangs with an Thangs. A. Thangs. This is one of my old designs. It says it's from 2015. This is and I was using it this week. That's exciting. What? So I figured maybe we should what talk about it. What were you using it. it for? This is my 
I am using it because we ordered some of these tiny little Uber lights boards. These little, uh, these are RGB LED oh, boards. Oh, it's tiny. That's adorable. Isn't it tiny? It's a little over a gram. It has 21 LEDs, and we say there's three concentric circles, but the circle in the middle is really a dot. But that's fine. These are uh, our big Uber lights boards. Are these guys? These guys here, and these aren't ready for production yet. They're they're kind of ready for production, but you can't get enough LEDs or ESP boards to sell them yet. But we condensed down. It's the same pattern as the big Uber lights, but with one ring deleted. It's compressed down just a little bit so it fits. It's the size of a key on your keyboard. I thought that would be a... Yeah, this ties into Jeremy's macro it does. Pad. But I got out my breadboard vise, and I didn't even need to use the vise parts, but the vises hold, the little clamps hold Arduinos and Raspberry Pis and things. Anything on a PCB, right? Yeah, anything. It doesn't even have to be on a PCB. I've crunched all kinds of weird things in, in alongside my boards before. But I needed a little place to drop a drop one of our boards because I've been I have one plugged into my macro pad up by where the numlock light would normally be. And I can't show you that. I'll put it I have a picture. I'll put it in the video. You should, you should play one of your videos. But I'm sick of flashing my macro pad over and over again just to test lighting stuff. So I've got a little Arduino Nano here. For that, but you guys should go check out the breadboard vice. It's been up on Thingiverse since 2015. You should the 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 breadboard vice, I think, is the object that's responsible for me buying my first 3D printer or starting to do my own 3D design. That's uh, well, that's, that's your fault. That's the uh, that's the that's the object that made the light go off in my head about what what cool possibilities were out there for me in 3D printing. You'd you'd been telling me all along 3D printing was cool and neat. And I was like, okay, that's great. I, I couldn't think of what I would do with it. And we did, what did we do, an electronics class or something at the Makerspace? And then you yeah, made, we did. And you made, you made this either for that or as a result of that. And I was like, okay, now I get it. Now I understand, you know, why why 3D printing is going to be something that I'm going to enjoy. And it was right after that. Yeah, this is one of the first complicated objects that I designed. And it's a mess of OpenSCAD code. I would do it so much better if I did it today. But we looked on Thingiverse for just something to hold an Arduino and a breadboard. Because if you just have the Arduino and your parts and you pick them up, they all want to move around. Flop yep. around. But then I realized, what if it's not an Arduino? What if it's a Raspberry Pi? What if you want to stick a second bread? You can drop another breadboard in the clamp. And the big full-size one has four clamps. There's all kinds of room to do all kinds of goofy stuff. And it lets you, this is a bad example because it's so simple, but it lets you pick your design up and move it without yoinking any cables out or anything. And I'm, and you can get these, I sell these on Tindy, but you shouldn't buy it because it costs too much and you should just spend the 50 cents on plastic and print your own because I don't want to print you it You are an it. awesome salesman. You know it. You know it. 